Greetings and welcome to Obsidian Soft. Today, I will show you how to save internet images such as QR codes that you get from the internet or any other image that you get from the internet to your phone gallery. Let's have a look at the demo. I'm going to write some text and then click the download button. A web API called Dice Bear will take in that text and generate a unique robot image against this text for me. You can use my QR code generated tutorial to generate QR codes here too. You can see the image in the image component, but the best thing is that it is also now in my phone's public folder. That is the pictures folder and I can open any gallery app such as Google Photos or Samsung Gallery and see the image there. This solution will work on Android 11 and newer versions and we do not need an extension for it. So let's begin. Open up MIT App Inventor, go to Projects, start a new project. I'm going to call it Save Internet Images. Keep the toolkit default, very, very important. Click OK. So a simple screen design, just get a layout, a horizontal arrangement onto the viewer. Make a line horizontal center, a line vertical center, make the height. 15% and the width fill parent. I just need a text box and a button. Okay. And I'm going to rename the button to download button and font bold 18 and maybe a background. Okay. Cyan is fine and I'm going to change the text to download, okay? And we need an image component below this and I'm going to give it a height of 70% and the width is fill parent. Very important that from connectivity so let me just close these palettes first from connectivity add a web component from storage add a file component and from sensors add a clock we just need the clock to get the timestamp for naming our images so just turn off this timer always fires and timer enabled so a simple screen design is done. So let's go to the block section. Here, just get the download button click event and we are going to call any web API to get an image and it could be your QR code generator API. And in my case, I'm going to call Dice Pair. So for that, I'm going to set my web components URL. So go down and set it to a join of two things okay so the first thing is an empty text block and i am going to copy the call here and paste it here okay and i will give this link in the video description this api is pretty cool because it gives you those robot avatars which you may use in a chatting app okay so it generates a unique robot image against the provided text okay so what is the provided text which comes after seed is equal to is whatever is inside our text box so get it from there so next very important we have to set our webs save response to true Okay, so this is to make sure that we get the image from this call. Okay, and after that, we are going to call the procedure web.get. Because we have set save response to true, web one's got file event will be triggered when we get an image from the servers. And here, this file name is the path 
where the image has been downloaded in the app's private storage. So if you have a look at what is inside this file name, it looks something like this, okay? So forward slash storage, emulated, and then your package name, and then forward slash my documents slash downloads slash some unique name created by app inventor. So app inventor, some numbers dot png okay so first we are going to show this image that has been returned by the server in our image components picture so for that we are going to set image dot picture to a join of two things we cannot directly provide this file name because there's something missing in it so over over it get file name and what is missing is file colon and two forward slashes. So this is important. Next, we need to get the actual image name from the file path. So remember, this is not the file name. It is the entire path. Okay. So what we need is this thing, this unique image name, which has been created by or generated by MIT App Inventor. So we are interested in this. So how can we get that? If you notice, it is the last part in this path, okay? So how about we split this path wherever this forward slash comes and the last element in the list that we get after splitting is this image name, right? So how to do that? I need to make a local variable and I'm going to call it path segments, which will actually be a list. And here I'm going to call text. And we have this split block. And if I provided the text that has to be split, and then what should it be split at? So it should be split at forward slash, okay? So what next? Once we have the list, now we just need the last element or item of that list and we will get our image name, right? So for that, I need another local variable and this is my image name. And I need to do one more thing. I need a join and the join is of two things, forward slash, my documents forward slash downloads. Now make sure that you type it exactly the same way forward slash. So I'm actually typing all this from here forward slash my documents forward slash downloads. Okay. And then a forward slash. So everything after files. Okay. So type in that and then this part. So how can I get this part, the last item in our path segments list? So from lists, get the select list item block. Here the list is my path segments and the index, how to get the last element or item, just provide the length of the list. So from lists, get the length of list block and this is again path segments which is our list okay now we need to either copy or move the file to the shared pictures folder the way of calling both the procedures is exactly the same but copy will keep the image in the app's own private storage and make a copy in the shared pictures folder, but move will actually remove it from the app's own private storage and take it to the shared pictures folder. So the decision depends on your own app's requirements. In this tutorial, I'm going to just move it, okay? So for that, from file, now that is where file is being used, get the move file block, and it returns something, but we are not interested in what it returns. So for such kind of blocks from control, get the evaluate, but ignore result block and plug this in. And here the file scope is app, okay? And what is the from file name? The file name is 
this image name okay that we constructed and here because we want to move it to the shared pictures folder I'm going to change it to shared okay and I'm going to construct the two file name because remember we got the clock to to make picture name with timestamp in it so for that I need a join block so from text get the join block and it needs three slots in it so what is the first slot the first slot is just an empty text block and I'm going to type in now again here spellings are also important forward slash pictures and then forward slash and after that this is how your image will be actually named in the gallery so I'm just going to name it pick here okay so then what next now here is our timestamp so from clock get this format date block okay plug this in and this I'm going to use this okay so this is my pattern and what is the instant instant is clock now that gives us the current time and then we format it in this way and what is the last thing the last thing is an empty text log that contains the file extension so png okay and this is done I made the beginning demo from the same project that I just coded in front of you if you like this tutorial don't forget to give it a thumbs up also please subscribe if you like my work and you don't want to miss the great projects that I have planned for you thank you for watching have a good day and goodbye